Hi everybody, it's Sam at Mix Up Crowd. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. I am back with a gift bag, or this could be a gift box. I guess it's more of a box. It's a gable box. Um, but this is using, there's no file, there's no dies needed. I've done this all from my head, um, racked my brain. And yeah, I'm really, really pleased with this rather large um, box. Now I'm holding it like this because my base isn't stuck down because these can fold flat so as I do in a lot of my box tutorials if I can I will keep them kind of open on the bottom so I can store them away but basically it would just undo the top and then the whole thing could be flat. So I know a couple of you will be going, yes, because you love it when I do flat pack boxes because you like to make loads of things like I do and store them away until you need them. So that is the beauty of this one here. So like I said, it's a gable box, lunch box, same kind of thing really. Um, again, then um, the front one would usually be the last to go down, but I've done a funny score line here where um, I wasn't concentrating. I was actually watching The Greatest Showman and kind of paused and was singing along and <laughs> scored wrong, so it's my own fault. But you will fold down the back and then the two sides and then that one, just so you've got a nice finish there. And you've also got a nice finish inside. Rather than those two side pieces, you have just that one solid piece. Um, and then you've got this flap here, which will go through the back of that one. So it just seals it up and keeps it all nicely contained. And then you just push it down and each piece goes in the side like so if I bring it up there you can see and it looks really cool and then I finished it off with this nice little die cut here and then these papers are the botanical papers from the first edition and I'm going to be using them again for the second one so this measures um, at four by am I coming in at here four by seven and three eighths of an inch. So it's a really roomy size and this will work for all kinds of occasions. I don't know what I'm gonna use this for. No doubt it will end up being a birthday, although possibly a thank you. Um, I've got maybe an idea for that. So I've left my sentiment empty there so I can pop whatever I need to on. So let's get straight into it. Bring in my scoreboard here with everything in it. So I've already done one half of it because you don't need to see me doing both. So let me just take off all of my tools here. So I've already die cut and just stuck that down ready. I haven't done the middle circle for this one because again, I don't know, you know, I might want to stamp on it or do something else. But again, that's that piece there. It's really nice. So that is one half already done because you're going to have two the same apart from one little piece, which I'm going to talk through in a minute. So I've already done all my pencil markings there to talk through with you. Basically you want two pieces of 12 by 12 cardstock. Now this one is slightly shorter on this side, ignore that if you're looking in the video, just listen to the score lines and do the score lines I tell you regardless of that. Again because I was watching The Greatest Showman I went a bit wrong but it's okay. This would just be a slightly uh, shorter one but you wouldn't notice the difference anyway. So Okay, so you're gonna to wanna to score along 12 inch side, doesn't matter which one, or at half an inch and at eight inches. Then rotate your card and you're now doing um, all of these score lines, so the side ones really, I guess. Um, and you're gonna score at one and three quarters, three and three quarters and eight. Now I'm not gonna score that one because I've actually scored slightly higher up. Ignore, you wanna score at eight on that one. Okay, so that's all the score lines done. Get rid of your scoreboard. And you need to do some, right, burnish all your score lines. I think that's gonna be the easiest way for me to talk you through this first. Okay, so you've got all your score lines. Now, what I've done is I've started scribbling out areas that you're gonna be cutting away. But before you do that, what will be easiest to do? So at the bottom, you'll have your largest base here. So you've got a little quarter inch score line there, this large base, and then this four by four square. Then you've got that next section, four by four square, and then a the large section. And then you've got these two smaller pieces. So this top one we're gonna work on, okay? Now the, the piece here, so where this score line is, along that very top one, you've got that one score line there with the quarter inch, and then you've got this score line. All of that section there, just run a pencil mark through like I've done, okay? Just so you know you're not working, you're not doing anything in that one. And then this little tab here, just put a pencil mark through as well. You can go all the way down if you want to the second one like I've done there, but just to 
make this easy for you to talk to talk it through okay so grab your ruler and what you want to do first of all is coming in start on this side so that score line here you're starting from the score line okay and you want to put a pencil mark along the top at one and one eighth of an inch then come along to the other side again from that score line from where you've just scribbled all that pe uh, pencil mark you want to come in again at one and one eighth of an inch and do a pencil mark and then line up those pencil marks down to that first score line so I'm going to draw mine a bit darker now as I'm talking it through with you okay so you want to have these two lines down one and one eighth of an inch coming in from that side and one and one eighth of an inch coming in from the, those two score lines okay down to that first score line then again along that score line here always working from those two inner score lines you want to just mark at a quarter of an inch and at seven eighths of an inch okay and then come down to that other score line and again a quarter of an inch and seven eighths of an inch and then join both of those up again okay I know with this ruler I can do it all in one go but for some of you that don't have this ruler I'm just going to talk it through as I have okay so that is now what you should have in that top long rectangle piece not in this one and not in that bit there okay then what you want to do is we're now working within just these sections here and here okay so on that top quarter inch line you want to come in at half an inch and put a pencil mark come down to the next line again half an inch and I've just put a little marker there so coming in from that score line half an inch and that one half an inch and again do that on that other one so come in from that score line half an inch and half an inch okay so what we're going to what this is starting to do is create this shape and this detail that we've got here so now put a pencil mark going through both of them just it's easier just to go through both I guess and then what you want to do is with a pencil we're going to be cutting out that very very top left or top right so you can see what I've done there put a little pencil mark in there and there so it's just so it all makes it easy for you to cut okay and then what we're going to do is do a pencil mark from let me do it and then I can explain to you this is the the most complicated part once this is done the rest is very easy so you can see what I've done now it's from the top of this one just do a pencil mark right down to there so it's hard to really say it but you can see what I've done there and down and then again put a pencil mark in all of that okay I'm going to hold that there and you can pause the video and then you can see what you need to do so you just want to do a pencil mark past that quarter inch pencil line down to the middle of those four squares and again on that side there okay so hopefully that's all been explained okay then you've got this this rectangle directly below where you've just kind of scribbled all that pencil out you want to do a mark at two inches which is halfway so it's a four inch length there just mark at two inches and again at the bottom of that box two inches join that up okay and then put another pencil mark half an inch down into that pencil line like there so that's halfway that's two inches okay and then I've just come down half an inch and put a pencil mark okay that's it but you do need to repeat exactly that on that second piece which I've already done this is already and that's this is what we're going to cut out so that's the most like I guess awkward bit of a gable box and I think that's why there's just uh, everybody does them in dies or a file online um, prints off a template and stuff um, but there is a way to do it, you know, freehand. So now what you want to do um, is cut all of this out. Okay, so we're going to cut that section out and we're going to cut um, all of this out. 
so you're going to get that shape okay so you can see there how you will get that shape like so and then once you've cut that out we can then you can cut this out as well so come down that other quarter inch um, half inch sorry piece there and then miss the whole of this middle section which is the second largest section up from the bottom and then just I've put pencil marks all the way through that as well so that's everything we want to cut out so I'm going to do it I'm still going to talk you through it just because I want to we've got all different abilities that watch these so um, I'm going to turn it on its side and start cutting up from here first and just cut straight we are going to cut this again but I'm just again keeping it nice and simple now I'm removing all of the score line as I do this so all of that bulky score line is, is on this section here, you can see it there. Okay, so you just want to remove that, it just gives your box an overall um, better look. And again here I'm removing all of that score line, like so. And then cut along, again we're taking off all of the bits where we've scribbled in pencil. Um, I should have said at the beginning actually you could do this as a template on scrap paper first on a you know a, an old piece of 12 by 12 um, and then keep that okay so you can see what I've cut out there to give me that effect once we rub out all the pencil marks um, then you'll see that shape come together and then again all the way down this side again all of that score line is all on my right hand side and again there and then go down to that next score line, removing it, and then take out that whole section. Again, now that score line's on my left hand side, I'm totally removing it all. Okay, so back to the, the right way up, that's what you should have. This piece here, just take a, a little wedge out of each corner. Okay. So I'll just lay that down. So now that's what we've got. Now before I rub out all of this pencil mark, I'm going to just do it first and because on one of them you want to keep the, the piece in and on the other one you want to cut it out completely. Now on this one I'm going to cut it out completely. But basically what we're going to do now is I'm going to pen, put a pencil mark on this because I'm removing it. But this whole piece here along that score line that was a really badly drawn line there. There we go. So that section there, I'm actually going to remove the whole piece. So on this one, on one piece, you need to take the whole piece out. On another one, you just want to cut up here, along here, and down here. Do not cut this line. You want it to stay attached like this. Okay? So you want one where it stays, and you want one where you remove it completely. So... I will do this as if it's going to stay, just so you can see what it looks like. So I'm using the Tim Holtz ruler, it's got metal on the side here, or just use a metal ruler. Push down really hard on your ruler and push your knife against the metal. So that's that side, and then again, always taking extra care with your fingers. And then go all the way along that top. like so. So this one here, you can see now, so that's what you will have on one of them, okay? So just the three sides, and now I'm going to remove all of it, and I'm going to take out the score line again, so I'm just coming slightly under. And that's that one. This is a really good knife, this is the Tonic, um, it's a new one that I've brought and I really like it so far. It feels nice in my hand, it feels safe and um, yeah, so if any of you are wondering, that's what it is. So there you go, you can see now I've removed that all completely. Then if we go over to this bit here, so you remember we came down at half an inch, what you want to do there is from the bottom left and right of that same rectangle, um, you just want to put a pencil mark like so and like that okay and then again now we are going to cut all of that and all of that out okay so 
in fact before we cut that we need to do another cutting line so then what you want to do is we're going to cut within with along this pencil line but you want to cut to the left of the pencil line and to the right of the pencil line so that you basically are taking out this tiny little like not even one eighth of an inch in, inch it's like a couple of millimeters okay so you now again from that half inch mark i would come down how far have I come down there? About a quarter of an inch. So come down a quarter of an inch and come up a quarter of an inch, like so. So just come down from there by a quarter of an inch and come up by a quarter of an inch and cut down between those two markers, like I said, to the, to the right and left of the pencil mark, just so it gives you that little kind of gap. like so and then I can just use my knife to just cut the little bits across okay you can see there where I've just cut through and just open it up there okay so I don't need to rub all that out so I'm going to cut most of it away so now just cut all the way up And then just follow that same cut line from before, just continue it all the way down. Like so. So now I can go and rub out these pencil marks, although some of mine are probably going to stay because I really heavily marked some of those pencil marks so you could see them, but actually that's okay. Okay, so just go and rub out all your pencil marks if you've done that. That's fine. I mean, you're not actually going to see this bit really because it's it's all inside, so I'm not too worried. But if you've done a template, then you could draw around your template on your nice paper. Okay, but I'm not, like I said, I'm not too worried. You're not going to see any of that. Now along the bottom, we need to cut up this piece here, which I forgot. So just cut straight up. Really neat because this is your base. But this piece here is your side kind of tab. So if I fold that one up, and then just come in about half an inch from the bottom and just go all the way up on an angle and just take a nice big wedge out of that. And again, this will just stop any bits hanging out at the bottom when we come to stick it all together. Like so, don't worry if it's a bit wonky, it doesn't really matter. There we go. So that is what you should have. Okay, so again, you can freeze, freeze the video there just so you can catch up. Remembering one piece will have this completely removed, the other one will have it still attached along this bottom piece here. Okay, so now I'll bring in my other piece. So like I said, this has got that piece on, this one hasn't, that's the only difference between them. And what you're gonna do is stick your tab over this side here and then the other one. So I'm gonna grab my wet glue. Okay, so I'm just gonna pop some glue this one and then just butt them up against each other and just fold that over like so keeping it all make sure these score lines all match up I'd say that's the most important part and it will mean then that it's nice and straight I'm just going to spread that out like so and then fold over this one and pop glue again on that one and then fold this one over and they should phew it was kind of not sweat at this point but hope that they do but it should just marry up perfectly that means that everything is in place you've done all your scoring cor correctly you've cut it all correctly and you can store it away now nice and flat because that is now its flat form that's how it will be okay so I'm just gonna make sure that my glue nicely stuck down there on both sides, like it is. Okay, so again, I'm not sticking my base, but if I was, choose which one you want to be your front. Doesn't really matter, they're both the same. I'm gonna have this one, I think. So your back one will go up first, then your two small sides, and then your main front, okay? And then what you want to do is just fold these side pieces out and then those will fold out. This piece with the flap needs to fold in and it's going to go through that other side, okay, like so. 
and then you'll see now they all come together and then just push it down and pop it in each of your sides like so and there you have actually you'd want that to be that's it well, whatever side that goes over your flap that ends up then being the back so you want this piece to be the front so I'll put that one up two sides in there we go like I said it doesn't really matter but that's how it will look like so isn't that really cool I absolutely love these and they're so big and then I've got this here which I can put on because um, this isn't going to affect it folding flat just pop some glue obviously you can decorate this however you want a nice big tag hanging from it loads of flowers I'm going to stick that in the middle that's about right yeah stick that all down and there you have it really lovely boxes or gable boxes so there's my other one just to give you some inspiration there so they're all yeah I love these prints really different love the mustards and the greens and yeah I think they really work well so like I said what size were they they were four by seven and uh, oh seven and a half yeah four by seven and a half that one was slightly different I think four by seven yeah but that's the size it will be now four by seven and a half so really good size boxes love 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 them hope you do too give them a go share the pictures as always and yeah please give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed today's tutorial and subscribe to my channel to see more thanks for watching bye